And uh, we could go over it just to, yeah, let's see. The council is an executive committee exp uh, composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power of the independent governments of other species, the council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation between the three of them not between the other ones because there's a bunch of other races which is the point each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy the asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators the salarians gather intelligence and information the turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces any species granted an embassy on the citadel is considered an associate member bound by the accords of the citadel conventions even though they they're bound by the Accords of the Zilla Van Conventions, even though we just said that they don't have any official... It's kind of contradictory. I'm pretty sure it's... They are absolutely... Anyway, associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165, which I believe is... Um, a, only a few years before uh, the first game, maybe. Citadel space is a specific area of space, then Citadel Security, the CSEC, and uh, there's a, a few other things regarding the Citadel Station, which we might visit, we probably will visit in this game. And uh, we have a treaty over here. Due to the destructive potential of dreadnoughts, the Council races agreed at the Phyrexian Nav Naval Conference to fix a ratio of, of dreadnought construction between themselves. Oh yeah, they did do that. You meant, I don't remember reading about that. Uh, and then we have... Uh, uh, lore about humans. And then we have Ilos over here, like the ancient human city of Troy, which is where it's multiple, multiple cities on top of each other, because of, it's, it's kind of complicated. Ilos is a world known only throughout secondhand sources. That's Why would you pick Troy as a reference? There's so many other things that are known only as a secondhand reference. Basically, any proto-historic culture is known as a, only as a second rep. Any, anyway, uh, references to Ilos have been found at several other protean ruins, though direct study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mu Relay. 4,000 years ago, the Mu Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Although we go there in the first game. Occasionally, a university will organize a an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile terminus systems and dozens of the of unexplored systems. I wonder why universities do that, or just a university. But we, I assume it's just it's in a reference to, you know, any one university will do it. Why universities though? Why why no not privateers? Uh, but either way, Vermeer is a lush world. Oh, Vermeer, which one is that? Hmm, a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of human tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts of colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with the various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. I think we go there as well in the first game. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expensive expedient to steal from their neighbors than build themselves. We have some ships over here. We have some technology over here, which is also ships. Ships are technology. And we have weapon armor and equipment, which is also technology. And uh, that's that's good. Okay, I wanted to do this because that way I can tell when there's new codex entries. And we will want to pay attention to them, at least in passing, uh, and make sure that we we have them. Uh, that's, uh, Jacob. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. I would. Hello. Hmm. Computers. Potentially. Customize gear? I can... What? 
Helmet? No. Yeah, no helmet. Can't change much, though. I can change the material. I like it. That's our armor appearance. Oh, did not mean to zoom in immediately on the butt. Uh, I meant to go into the casual appearance. And it changes... Oh, yeah, that's my casual appearance, all right. Uh, uh, that's that's where I should be. Huh, interesting. This one and this one. I like this one a lot, though. I like this one a lot. But I'll go with this one because it is a lot more cool. Also known as cooler. Cool. It's a lot cooler. Oh, that's what I was clicking. Right. Um, where's the elusive man? He's eluding me at the moment. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and Ageth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. This full of shit. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. I wonder if he know. I wonder if he actually knows that if th that they're targeting humanity. Would he know that other settlements were being killed? Because knowing human settlements are going is probably easier for a human. Um, but yeah, he's full of shit. His his um his justification is that he's dedicated to the preservation of humanity. Right. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? 
If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hmm. Very elusive. Got more scholar things or more uh, more stuff in here. Stuff about the reclusive tycoon calling himself the elusive man is a human nationalist focused on advancing human interests, whatever the cost to non-humans. The Citadel Council regards him as a fanatic, posing a serious threat to galactic security. A mysterious maverick, to say the least, the elusive man heads the Cerberus network. Dubbed the Elusive Empire by investigators, Cerberus is an allegedly untraceable syndicate of private intelligence agencies, biotics laboratories, engineering and scientific research teams, and lucrative front companies. Branded a terrorist and seditionist organization by authorities, Cerberus is the only human power base other than the Terra Firma Party, strong enough to embarrass, if not threaten, the Council and its human representatives. So, not only because he's a human nationalist or whatever that's supposed to mean, uh, but also because of what's saying, what it's, uh, what is being said over here. Uh, I'm supposed to think that the council probably doesn't like him because he probably doesn't like the fact that the council dictates things for humans. Freedom's Progress Colony was once a typical Alliance settlement. But following complete communications blackout and its apparent destruction is now a lightning rod for anxiety and dread in the galactic human community. The communications blackout followed an upgrade of the colony's small military force, supplemented by mechs and security drones, with high-powered tower-mounted guardian lasers. Colonists complained about construction cost overruns, delays, noise, and damage to the local environment. They also feared the defense array could be seen as provocative to their world's neighbors. Such fears may not have been baseless. Authorities have still offered no explanation for the communications blackout, fueling rumors of plagues, natural disasters, or a cult-inspired mass suicide. Located in strategically insignificant space, Freedom's Progress Colony had once offered residents spectacular rainbows, lush marshlands, and stunning mountain ranges. Its potential as an agricultural settlement and tourism wonderland rivaled that of any Alliance colony. Hmm. So we're going to the pretty. I do like the pretty. Uh, and also, I won't level up until I actually need to, because I'm fine. I'm fine with not leveling up in these games. Jacob, I'm going to trust you now, okay? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Because you... Because you're... Because you're the team. What? What? What's the... 
<laughs> this is weird. Uh, it, it sort of touches on what I was saying. Um, the fact that destroying the council doesn't really solve anything. Because you just get a new council and it's the same shit. Um, it's just this one is led by humans. So it does change things for humans and for other races most likely. Um, but the... The the, uh, the moral of the story for him is that is 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 confusing. I think I need to read into what is he's trying to say rather than what he's actually saying. Um, what he's saying here, what he's actually saying is that when a colony goes missing, he doesn't um, ask people to go find it, uh, find out what happened. He goes himself because look at that we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the he uh what uh the hell to do about it he he just the, the, he he figures out what the hell to do about it that's what he does so it's just like it's weird either way the point is that uh, he, i don't think he likes um not being the person who does the things i think that's what he's trying to come across as because he mentions specifically bureaucracy um which is uh, very, very typical of, um, of, of, of the sort of government, the, the, the sort of, uh, sort of uh, hi hierarchical or hierarch strongly hierarchical government would, would be strong on bureaucracy. Um, but either way, uh, we're good. I'll, let's see you later, I suppose. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And we have another codex entry. Do we? Actually, no, we do not. The game was telling me we did. Look at that. It says right there. Unless... Hmm. It's from before, isn't it? Either way. Uh, how do I... Oh, I got Paragon. Gross. Spend squad points on bonuses before leaving your for your mission. You can't... Do you mean to tell me I can't spend them after? I suppose. Okay. Uh, so, Adrenaline Rush. We have Cryo Ammo... Oh, we're, this is very simplified. Okay. Uh, this is so simplified in comparison to the first game. Am I wrong in that? We had a lot of skill points in the first game. But not anymore. Hmm. I like Adrenaline Rush. It's pretty good. But Combat Mastery is probably the one that I, that I want. Because it's just generic. So I'll go with that. Thank you very much. And that's it. Right? To upgrade your powers. Yep. Hopefully that's enough. And I think it is. Mission complete. We have a summary. Uh, we have a level up. We have a grenade launcher. And a close report. What? I don't know what that means. I think we're approaching. Loading screen is is uh, uh oh we're gonna drive the the little car, the Mako or whatever. Are we actually? We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. We have new weapons. What new weapons do we have? We have a shotgun. Wait, what? 
I have a lot of them. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, sniper rifle. Shotgun. Assault rifle. I'm going to use this. And we have a mini-map. Oh, the mini-map doesn't show... Ah. Really? Okay, let's look around. I think we're supposed to go in here. Thank you, I don't have a flashlight. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Does this look like dinner to you? We're getting some very alien soundtrack. I do like it. I don't recall Mass Effect 1 having the greatest of soundtracks. It wasn't bad. It wasn't something that annoyed me or anything. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, no signs of battle. I don't know about the no structural damage. But sure. Anything up there? No. Yeah. System, security systems were disabled, she said. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, you saw more? Shoot them before they take out your shield. They took me out almost. Wow. All right. There's doggos. Yes! Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Uh, either that or they're heavily malfunctioning. That could be a thing as well. I'm not 100% sure... Of either one. Is this a shotgun? This is a shotgun. Yeah. The lights don't turn on now. Let's get this one. Okay. Hmm. I've seen us. Somebody help me out, please. Thank you. I'm not even that injured. I think the assault rifle is better for for the doggos. We got some spare parts over here. Stop right there! Fraza! You said you'd let me handle this. It's Dolly. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. I know, right? You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. 
She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. It was nothing personal. How interesting of an understanding of what the... It's... I... Hmm...